Hey you guys, fish 67 here. Today I'm going to be showing you this Mardu um, graveyard deck, I suppose. And this is an NTG arena, and I just started three days ago, so it's not too hard to get if the packs are like on your side. But for those of you who are more experienced with MTG arena, this shouldn't be hard to get at all, I don't think. It requires opening a couple packs from the new Ravnica set, but that's about it. So um, going over the deck, we run four Doom Dissenter, four Reassembly Skeleton, three Goblin Instigator, two Death Baron, four Murder, three Legion War Boss, three Grave Digger, two Rekindling Phoenix, two Chaos Wrath, two. Um, Tessa Karlov, and she is uh, the main card in this deck. We want to use her, plus open the graves, plus all of our stuff to end up killing off our opponent. Save the Grave Diggers for the end of the game if you can't when your Grave Wakers are out. Grave Waker lets us hit everything else. As soon as your opponent is out of kill spells, and, the, and Grave Waker is, um, you're able to get it back, and get it back, and it is going to help you do everything in the entire deck, and that is basically how we win with that. Anyway, we got three open the grave, two siege gain commander, two grave digger, and then we go into our lands. We are running 23, two plains, three swamp, two mountain, four forsaken sanctuary, four cinder barons, one dragon skull summit, four boris goge, and four stone quarry. Obviously, it needs to be changed. The mana base could be a lot better with more dragon skull summit and um, the other obvious check lands, but I don't have the check lands um, because I just started, so yeah, there's that. So, so far this deck has done really good, it hasn't lost a game, and mainly the win conditions have been swinging in with the Grave Waker, and eventually, like, just holding up a bunch of lifelink, vigilance, tokens, because of Tessa, which gives them lifelink and vigilance, and open the graves, and doing a bunch of stuff, like, I haven't hit a reassembling skeleton yet, as soon as you hit a reassembling skeleton, deck pops off, I haven't hit a death baron yet, as soon as you hit a death baron, deck pops off. I haven't, I, I've barely hit half these cards and I've gotten off of Kaya's Wrath once and it was because they had a 7-6 Trample Hexproof Dinosaur. I sort of had to, but you get the basic idea. You're going to play a bunch of little dudes really quickly and hopefully get a bunch of tokens. Um, from then on, you get down, open the graves as soon as possible, and then Tessa right after, or Tessa, whatever it is, and you get her down right after, and then you hope for rekindling phoenixes as much as possible, and then you just go. Pedal to the metal, swinging as much as you can. That's your goal. And we got the murders for hitting those select threats, like um, anything that exiles are and stuff, we don't want that on the field. So we're going to murder that off. And then we have Kaya's Wrath for when our opponent's board gets too big. So, so far I haven't lost a game with this, but, you know... Anyway, it's called, I call it Let Nothing Go to Waste, because, you know, nothing goes to waste. I hope that you guys can hear me. I have the mic at a odd angle. So, I'm going to go ahead and play one more game. I've already played three so far with it, and it's done pretty darn well. But, uh, just to show you how it would normally work, hopefully we don't end up getting a bad hand, you know, because that would be bad. And I'd have to do this all over again. Probably. Okay, that hand's trash, but we're going to keep it because we got our colors, and if we're lucky, we can get down this Legion War Boss, and we can. Look at that, guys. Alright, so we're set. Um, we just need another red or a white, preferably the red at this point, to get down the Rekindling Phoenix, because that would be wonderful. And it looks like our opponent is playing Mono White, if I'm reading the cards correctly. We're going to throw down Cinder Baron and pass, and then we're going to get down Legion War Boss next turn, Rekindling Phoenix the turn after, and then... Um, play down these Doom Dissenters. If Rekindling Phoenix actually does die and then the token dies, get it back. Rekindling Phoenix is one of our best cards. Oh, and we have two, just to say. I would suggest getting more though. Oh shoot. That is why we run Murder. Hey, but we got our Wink Um, He's just gonna kill off the War Boss. Do I want to put down the War Boss? Alright, so this is one situation where it's like, I don't know what to do, they're playing Mono White and everything, so I either want the War Boss or the Doom Dissenter, and I'm very concerned about some, like, Exile stuff, so I'm gonna save the Phoenix for a little while, and just play down the Doom Dissenters, and hope that they take the bait of the Doom Dissenters and War Bosses as my win cons, even though that they're not. If they exile those, then we have room for a Phoenix, and it won't get exiled as often. Oh, shoot. Phoenix needs to go down. Like, quickly. I might actually just do that. Oh, and it... 
It has high flank and vigilance. Well, this is why we have a 4-3 fire that can, you know, like, come back. Can I please get a murder? I need a murder quickly. <laughs> so this is not a good matchup, to be honest. Very not good, because that Leon and War Leader is insane. And then the fact that they just got down this Pride Mate is stupid. Does it have Trample? It doesn't have Trample. Okay, it's not as bad as it could be. It could have Trample. It doesn't have Trample, which is a good thing. Um, but I really need a Murder right now. It's not a Murder, that's a Kea. Um, we're gonna get down this Open the Graves, and then next turn, Kea. So, we're just basically trying to survive at this point. Um, we can't afford to really take hits from a Johnny, and a big flying a Johnny's not good. Oh, and they just hit our Phoenix. Okay, it's game over, guys. We just lost. Like, I'm fairly certain. There's no way that we're winning this. So. I mean... You know, once our phoenix went down, unless we can get a murder before we die, something to kill it. Even a chaos. Oh wait, we can't play that. We need a murder specifically. Why is it triggering so many times? Because the cats have life link. Okay, so it's game over. Um, I'm just gonna scoop at this point. That way that we can move on to the next game. That was a really bad thing. We run four murders. We should have hit one of them. And I do suggest running the um, white black one once you have like a playset. Which I could go get a playset and try and fix the deck then. Actually, yeah, let's go do that. I'm gonna make a couple changes. Okay, so there's a white black card that we want. It's right there. We want this one. Oh, look at that. It's common. Yeah, because I'd rather pay the 5 life than get hit by a 7-7 seven, seven life linker every turn. So, we're going to drop... Um... Ooh. Well, like I said, I haven't hit a Death Baron, but that does make the deck pop off, so we're going to leave it in. We're going to take out the Goblin Instigator right now to go up final payments. And I want to have four, just so that like we can make sure that that never happens again. And I think we're going to have a ton of removal. Hmm. I uh, know the dissenters are like if we get rid of our dissenters, everything goes downhill. Okay, so this is a point where I need to make a decision of what's going to be in this deck and what is not. And right now, red is I want the rekindling phoenix, and that's the only reason I want the red in here. Let's go see what's our percentages. We have zero white cards. That's just from Kea and the Kea's wrath and the final payments. Those are the only reasons that we have white cards, regardless. So, I mean, this is a really tough decision. I gotta take out one card. And, um, you know what? We can drop down a Legion War boss. If it's gonna mean making sure that we live long enough. But that changes our colors a little bit to having. Why, why isn't it counting? I have white cards. Why isn't it counting them? Well, we got four. And as opposed to. Well, we got four there. And the four there and two there, so that is ten. And then we have two there, four there, four there. Okay, so we need the same amount there. I feel like we need to go up white lands. Um, we're gonna drop mountains, go up plains, because you know we we should get enough red as it is. So we're gonna try it like this. If we're lucky. We won't have that happen again. That situation won't happen. We'll be able to take down dinosaurs a little bit more. Hopefully. You know. Because, you know, we run four. We run a playset of murder and now a playset of that new card that came out. And that new card is silly good. Like, I mean, it's really good. It's, too, it's silly because it's so good. Is it an instant? If it's an instant, it's like 
broken, almost. Um, maybe not broken, but it's really good, especially if for this deck. And this is like a cheaper deck, I think. I'd, I'd grade it as cheaper. Um, ain't half bad, we're gonna keep that. Oh, and we get to go first, and we have a final payment in hand, and it is an instant. So, I think that we're set, because we can final payment our thing and be good. So we're gonna get down a Cinder Barons real quick, and then a Stone Quarry the turn after. I don't know if you guys can hear me, I'm just gonna assume that you can. And yes, I'm moving the microphone, I'm sorry if it makes clicking sounds. I didn't think about it until just then. I'm gonna stop moving the microphone. I'm really sorry guys if it made clicking sounds, and it was not, if you guys didn't like it. I don't, I don't mean to make you guys uncomfortable. So we got our Doom Dissenter, we got three red, which isn't the best, I'd prefer black as opposed to red. Can I get a swamp? Can I get any land actually? Yeah, any land seems good, I want any land. But I don't like the bishops, this, I can't even talk right now, I don't like the bishops soldiers I think I got it right I'm not sure but I don't like them at all and he's it's obvious that he's playing Mardu or not Mardu he's playing Orza vampires we're playing Mardu Mardu junk oh look at that yes recently we don't get those very often guys this is the first time I've ever had one we run four but it's a great card because if we can actually get mana and play open the graves uh, it pops off because, you know, we just swing. Even if they're gaining life, we're gaining tokens. That's important. Yes, the Cinder Barons. Good. Um, nothing that we need to kill off right now, so we're going to head into combat, and I can't even cast that. <laughs> uh, go to attackers, and we're just going to pass the turn. It's not worth us to wait around and attack. We need blockers to block these bishop soldiers. Why would I be killing anything? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Yes. You guys see that, right? Are we kindling Phoenix? Or we can Chaos Wrath. No, we're going to save the Chaos Wrath. Is it? It's sorcery. Yeah, no. We want the Phoenix down right now. Because then we can put pressure. You know? Um, that's something that we need. And I'm, oh, yeah. If you guys hear a movie in the background, it's my parents. I don't know what movie they're watching. Otherwise, I totally give credit to them because, you know, it's not supposed to have music in it, but my parents are watching a movie. Sorry about it, I guess. Sorry for the people that copyrighted it. I don't mean to take your copyright. I'm not, it's not intentional. They're just watching a movie while I'm recording this. And if you were watching it and it's your thing, oh shoot. But if you're watching it and it's your thing, feel free to monetize the video. I could care less. You saw that card that they played, right? This is where we run final payments and murders. Because we're going to need to kill that. Okay, we're going to go to combat now. Attackers. And we're going to attack with the phoenix. Or no, we're going to hold the phoenix back. Yeah, for now, we're going to hold the phoenix back. Because the Phoenix can do better things for us than Swing. Because I don't want it tapped. So we're going to resolve that. And then when it enters the battlefield. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I want to cast a spell. Okay. He's all tapped out. We're just going to murder it. See that second missing skeleton? If we get a swamp, oh shh, what's this do? Oh, nothing important. If we get a second swamp, good things will happen. So now we can kill his wrath. And I think that doing that right now is the best choice. I mean, I'd prefer to... No, because I want another body. I want to wrath. You know what? We're going to wrath. We get six zombies. I think it's worth it.
then. We gain four life, and we get rid of his board. His or her board. I don't know whom it is. Come on. Are you going to let it resolve? basics on the field. 
<sighs> I should just murder a skeleton. No, yep, we are murdering a skeleton. Now resolve the settle the wreckage. I'm tired of getting settled the wreckage though. Take action. Oh yeah, we don't have any basics. And then we're gonna go to, to we're just gonna end my turn with And we're gonna cast this at the end of their turn. So if they have any more soul the wreckages, we might be not doing too well. Maybe I shouldn't have Kaya's... Oh, I should have swung first. That would have been helpful. Probably would have caused me to win. Oh, uh, there we go. Gravedigger. Sell the wreckage is what? A 5 drop? Yeah, we want this. It's a 4 drop. me that I don't want to cast it right away, do I? Who cares, I'm just gonna cast it. Because it only hits attacking creatures, so we should be good for now. We're gonna have a tough time killing them for now. I mean... Oh, oh, because we went and searched for basic lands. I'm like, we haven't been drawing cards. How are they doing what they're doing? But I realized. So two tap each opponent was one and you gain one. That's going to be a problem. Oh, that's the bigger problem. We need to kill that now. Like, now, now. Like, very quickly. Oh, and they, they just... So they already get a 5-5 five, five, Oh, okay. They don't. Thank goodness. Swing along. Like, at this point, it's just worth it to attack with everything. They're gonna make a 1-1. One, one. They're gonna block a 2-2. Two, two, block a 2-2. Two, two, block a... Something. Maybe they're gonna block rekindling. I don't know. They're, all, they're almost up to 20. How is that? This isn't even fair. That resplendent angel... Oh yeah, that makes sense how to block that. I don't like it, but it makes sense. Give me a kill spell. We run eight. How many have we used? We have used three. We have used three. And we run eight targeted kill spells. It doesn't even have to be targeted at this point. I need a sack outlet. I need to put sack outlets in here. I didn't think about that. Like, I have some. I just don't use them. Oh fudge. Now we need to kill spell now. Please. There we go, kill spell. Yes. Uh -huh. It's just like that's all I needed and that makes it a lot easier. Maybe they're gonna try and kill off the rekindling. I would. Oh no, they're gonna take on a grave digger. Oh, I think I just. We gotta get rid of the angel now. With the angel on the food, there it's really hard to win. Oh, and look at that. Oh, and now it's impossible to win unless we can kill this off, which is already a four-four, which means a rekindling phoenix won't be able to kill it, and he can just make another token to make it a six-six. Which already means that... Fudge. Guys, we're not going to win this one either. It just looks like Mono White or Orzov is just too good. To be honest, it's this enchantment. If this enchantment hadn't have been on the field, everything would have been fine. If these enchantments hadn't been on the field, everything would have been fine. If Resplendent Angel hadn't have entered the battlefield, everything would have been fine. Because, you know what? I'd still have a kill spell. I hate this deck. And the problem is we don't have any way to interact with... 
I can't believe it happened. But I mean, you know what? It happened. We're just gonna pass the turn. We're gonna set a stop. No, no, no. Stop at the end of the next turn. We're gonna resolve this. It's gonna enter the battlefield. Oh my gosh, stop it. I'm not gonna get in a single attack and he's just gonna have a huge amount of health. He or she. I assume it's a he, but I'm not sure. Like, I'm being serious. <sighs> Resolve them. You know what, I'm just gonna cast it. That way I can't be fucked for going over time. You know? Grave Waker would be helpful, you know, because then I could actually do stuff. A Grave Digger is just as good, I guess. Oh. Ah. See Grave Diggers? They can go get other Grave Diggers. Which makes them much, much, much better than what they appear to be. Resolving. I don't want to resolve anything. Why, why can't it just auto pass like normal? It says it's auto passing. Oh, I guess it's just going through steps. I still have to resolve this stuff, don't I? Guys, I am new to Matt MTG Arena. I am new. How many lands do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 16 lands, so nearly all of them. I'll attack. A Grave Waker and make this a lot easier because I just keep on bouncing the Siege King Commander and then, you know, kill everything and then hit him for a bunch of damage if it isn't him. You know? Do I have this way? Okay, I have the mic on. I was sort of worried. Because I got to thinking I muted it for a minute in the middle there. We're not even on the defender step. Good attempt, though. I'll give them that. If you guys hear the screaming, that's the movie. <sighs> Can I get Kea, please? I want my tokens to have lifelink. Oh, look at that. I need a kill spell, actually. I changed my mind. If there's four of them in there, I swear, 26 to 27. Okay, maybe we can win by making them deck out by just stalling the game. I actually could do that, except for the army of one ones. If my stuff had lifelink, I could do it forever. 
more or less, give or take. Oh, a fire with lifelink, I can't deal with that until I get another rekindling or kill spell. You know, if I could give my stuff vigilance, which I technically can, could you just stop, please? No, you can't stop, boy, because you have an army of lands, too. And you have this stupid card. Could I, is, is it possible for me to get rid of this card? I don't have anything in the deck to do so, I just want it gone. No, don't attack with that. No attacks. I'm just gonna make an army of 1-1s, one -one guys, and until I can get rid of a Johnny's Pride Mate, um, it's not gonna end well. Not to mention this Legion's, initiate, this Legion's landing. I don't know why they haven't flipped it. I mean, I guess because this thing does the exact same thing. Or not that thing, that thing. So I don't even have to flip it. Yeah, I'm gonna take one in the air, and it has a lifelink. And it sucks. Because guess what? A Johnny's Pride Mate triggers. And he's just gonna pay two. I don't know why he didn't make it 1 1. He could have easily made a 1 1. And I assume that they have a cell of the wreckage in hand. Yes. This changes everything, guys. Everything. Can I do it again? I don't think I can. Can I kill off the pride mate? I don't think I can. One, two, three, four. No, I can only hit it a few times. Combat, attackers, we're just gonna pass the turn. We don't have anything to do. Not this turn at least. No. I'm not gonna let that happen. Or no, no, no. We want this first. Submit. Can I not stack another effect on top of this? Or is that it? Stop auto passing. Resume the turn. <laughs> Submit. Okay. There we go. This is what we want to do, essentially. Kill off the vampire. I don't want him gaining any more life. And it, plus it's really annoying to deal with. Adronis Primate is annoying. I could probably swing in and deal a ton of damage. But right now I'm working on, you know, finishing stuff. And look at that. We got timers on him, but we got each of us have four timeouts. I need a draw card here. I don't have any draw effects here. Oh yeah, look at that. Now he's making one ones. And the Adronis Primate just keeps on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill it. At this rate, I won't. Not without using everything I have to block it. All he has to do is get the thing flying, and it's like game over, like that. Which, if it's the same white deck that we saw before, is not hard. Oh my gosh, stop it, please. I mean it. I'm tired of this. It's getting annoying. How many cards are left in this deck? 19. Oh, look at that, another flyer. See, the problem with this is, it's just so hard to beat him. If this wasn't on the field, no problem. Just swing in. Keep on swinging in. Sure, I'm not going to deal much damage, but I'm going to deal enough, you know, to keep it even. But it's like, if he had Sanguine Bond on the field, if that was insane, or if those Epic Hair of Bloods were still on the field, it would not end well. Why are you swinging? Oh, because I bet you he has something to buff it, doesn't he? You know what, I'll just take the one. Oh, I should have blocked it, he just said oops. Well, we're gonna go double oops. I'll match his oops to a double oops. Maybe he'll match my double oops to a triple oops. Can I get more of these? Nope, see, look at that. Gonna exile the Grave Waker. Now I have to go get another one, which is only one more in the deck. Unless it already got exiled. Oh, it did. Look at that. Oh, wait. That's because those are there. There's none in here, right? Nope. Well. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Time to do this. Sack a creature. We're going to kill that off. And we're going to sack off a recent skeleton. Submit. 
we get a, another tutu and this thing dies. Luckily, finally, 19 to 24. I think he just stopped drawing cards. Combat, attackers. I shouldn't even be attacking. Just look at this. He's going to deck himself before we get done. But if I attack with everything, he would take one, two. So there are five here, so that would be 10, 14, which you could gain back really quickly. Well, 14, 14, 28, 14, 32, no, 42. So he could only do it twice. And if he attacked me with everything, no attacks. Well, guys, this really sucks. Let's just get him onto the field. I don't feel like messing with it right now. We know that there's another Phoenix and another Grave Waker and another Grave Digger in here. Any of which would be good cards, and we need to get back this Siege Commander, which we have another one in the deck and another War Boss, I believe. Yep. Oh yeah, and one of the skeletons got exiled. How wonderful. And there's quite a few lands still left, and we don't have any way to draw cards like he does. The fact of the matter is, though, he's not drawing cards, he's just making tokens. And that is where our problem is. He's not drawing himself out, which we need to happen quickly. Oh, look at that. What? Pass the turn. I have nothing to do. I seriously have nothing to do. And the opponent's turn? Oh, we're gonna just gonna pass for now until they play something important to counter. Okay, s no, no, no. Resume the turn. No attacks. Go to the end of combat. Grave Waker. Come on. Resolve. Resolve. I bet you he's holding up two other things to exile all my stuff. Well, guess what? I'm not attacking with it. I can just as easily kill off your stuff from where I'm sitting. Yeah, so let's get rid of your flyers right now. So, guys, I'm sorry that this is going to be a longer video just is, and that's because we got put into bad matches. Let's get him off the field, back into my graveyard. See, the graveyard's the best place for my creatures, because right now they don't have a way to interact with my graveyard. And so, by leaving creatures there, or putting them there myself, I am allowing myself a little bit of wiggle room in case I need to get them back somehow. Like, because right now I know that they have to settle the wreckage in hand. If not two, there's only 15 cards left in their deck. The chances are very high that they're running for sell the wreckage, from what I've seen. And we've only seen two of them. And we've only seen two Epicure of Blood, which means that there's probably two more in there. Because why wouldn't they run that? That makes sense. And look at that, they're drying themselves out. Yes, keep on doing that. I'm going to win by stalling. Unless they play Epicure of Blood. I, need to, I, need, I should have saved up the murder and the two kill spells, to be honest, but I didn't want one ones on the field. He's searching for it. I can tell. I mean, he only has to play 17 thing, or seven things after he gets it on the field. It shouldn't be hard. And right now I just have an army of blockers. I'm going to get him. He's only got 10 cards left. This is going to be the weirdest win I've ever had. Oh, no. 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 There went our Grave Waker. I have good news. It's not Exile. I have bad news. It's not on the battlefield. I have good news. We can still get it back. There's still hope. I have bad news. It's probably going to get Exile when we get it. It only stays on the field for a turn. 
Is he drawing out? Please tell me that you're drawing out. Why am I down to 13? Oh, because he pinged me from one. Okay. And I can't deal with flyers, so we're just going to pass the turn. And we're going to keep on doing this, because he can only hit me for 3, which in the current timeline is lethal. But if I wanted to, I could make it not lethal. We're going to resolve that. Because if I'm correct, he's just going to keep on drawing until he hits an Epicure of Blood, which is what he's after. Yeah, because look at that, he just keeps on drawing. Does he not know that if you deck yourself, you lose? Do you lose in MTG Arena? I assume that you do. Does he have no max stand size too? Because that's a lot of cards. Or no, has he been discarding down? Let me check. Is that the second? No, nope, that's the first. Okay, so he might have been discarding down. He may not have. Regardless, his deck is good. It's a very good stall deck that I don't like. I don't like that. It's it's tempting me to come and swing at it, but I know that. That's not staying there. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at his life total. Oh, I see. He was going to plus a Johnny and put counters there, and he was probably going to kill it himself. See, now that's smart. He's down to seven cards. That is what we call smart. But I'm not going to fall for it. Oh, wait, he's getting back a hawk. Oh, now he's actually trying to kill me. Give me a flyer. Come on, a rekindling phoenix, please. Oh, shoot. No, he, got, he brought back pride me. Hawk moved over. He brought back pride me. Shoot. What am I supposed to do? Kill spell? How many have I used? One, two, three. Three murders. Two final payments. Which means that there's a murder and two final payments sitting there. Okay, the one on the ground I'm blocking. Okay, he's got five cards in his deck, which is essentially his life total at this point. Is five cards. That is his life total. Five turns. Unfortunately, we have this 3 3 here. Because the Giant's Pride Mate's not a problem. Block, block, block. Yeah, the Giant's Pride Mate's not a problem. Sky March Blood Loader is. It can settle the wreckage be abused in the way that I'm hoping it can. <clears throat> yes, they can. It can be abused in the way that I was hoping it can. It doesn't help me anymore now, but it can be abused. Auto pass. Make tokens, draw yourself out, please. Please, I want to see it. Plus, if I don't see it, I'm going to die. Why'd you use Adagio the first four? Do these not have lifelink? They do have lifelink. This has lifelink too. There's no difference. Why'd you use Adagio? Do you like these tokens better? I mean, seriously. He's not drawing cards. This is a problem, guys. Because if I can't kill off this Sky March, I'm going to die very quickly. I probably shouldn't have killed off the other thing. But did it have Trample? It had Life Link. I should have just left it. But I didn't want it to get real big because I was uh, I was going to get real big. He has four cards in his deck, I've got 20. So, 3 out of 20 chance. Oh! Okay, I have next turn, and that's it. If I don't hit a Rekindling Phoenix, I die. If I don't hit a Grave... Wait, did I hit my second? I hit my second Grave Wicker. If I don't hit one of... What? Six or seven cards, I die? Something like that? I have to either hit a Flyer, or a Kill Spell. Or a Grave Digger. I can't believe it. My Grave Digger was the other thing that I needed to hit. 
of course he can just exile it. Uh, so we're gonna take action. Unless can I I can kill off that probably. Will I have enough mana to kill it off? No, because I'm gonna have to pay seven ish to bring back that. And I won't have enough to kill it off. I'll have enough to kill off one of the dudes. We're gonna auto pass the turn. If he casts something, I'm gonna on um, the stack siege king commander it. The hawk that is. I know the Grave Waker isn't gonna stay very long, but I only needed to stay for a little bit longer. He's only got four cards left in his deck. Guys, this is hard. Uh, why can't I hit one of my guys that gives my stuff life link? We're gonna resolve it. There's nothing I can do about it. Resolve that. Resolve. Are you gonna draw? I'm watching him. He drew! Guys, he's seriously drawing. He's gonna deck himself. Is he gonna draw again? He drew! He's at two cards. Will he do it again? What are you targeting? No. I don't know why he's so consistent on Siege Chain Commander. He should have gotten Grave Waker. It would have been a lot harder for me to win. What? No. Draw a card. Play a spell to draw a card. Do it. Do it. No, you need to do it twice. I need you to do it twice. Do it twice. Come on, please. Do it. Yes, do it once more. Please, 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 please. He's doing it. Guys, we're gonna win because he's gonna deck himself. He just decked himself. Oh my gosh, guys. That's not how you're supposed to win, but it works. So, longest game I've ever played. And look at that, I got a lot closer. It was only at, what, 29 when I started? Okay, that's only four spells. Yeah, because I only cast the ones. All right, guys, but that's been the deck tech and the game. I'm probably gonna, I don't know. It was really weird, but that's that if you want to play it. I didn't even get a Death Baron. I couldn't even hit those. We're gonna take out the Death Barons. I mean, yeah, it pops off our deck, but when our chance to get it is zero, we don't need it. As a matter of fact, we need flyers. This harpy is what we need, because this harpy lets us sack stuff to put plus one, plus one counters on it. And that harpy is going to make the deck a lot better to play. Anyway, this is probably the last change that I'm going to do to this deck right now. Do I want two harpies? Or do I want more harpies? We'll go two harpies. And I need another Gravedigger in here, because Gravedigger is literally winning this game. So. Because we would have lost if we hadn't have hit that grave digger. Confirm. And at this point, I think it's safe to go down the war bosses, to be honest, and grab the harpy. All right, so that's the end of the deck um, for now. Thank you guys for watching. I know that it's been almost an hour long, and it was all spent on one game that was really, really boring. And you know what? I'm probably actually not going to include that game. I'm probably just going to cut to the end. But thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope that you have a good day, and I hope that you like this deck. It's, you know, it's a different deck. I think that this is going to be a decent deck, you know, but it has to pop off. If I had gotten Tessa that last game, it wouldn't have been as stressful. Or even another Open the Graves. But, I mean... You know, here's the stats of it. Our average mana cost is 3.39. So there you go, guys. I hope that you liked it. Have a good day. And I will see you next time.